Hi, I'm Jason King from 3dprinthq.com and I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of uh, the basics of what you can do in OpenSCAD. Now OpenSCAD is a free open source um, CAD package. Um, I believe you can use it in Linux and Windows. I'll just show you um, the website OpenSCAD.org where you can download this from so if you just go to downloads or you can get it for the Mac as well um, but I'm using it on Windows and I've used it on Linux before so just you can download it from here if you don't already have it so I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of how to create uh, my own 3d print HQ logo now what I've got here I've got the code because um, this is a programmatic CAD package where you use parameters so it's fully um, parameterized so I've already got the code here and I'm going to run through the basics of it to create my logo so as you can see we've got the the window here with just a basic three-dimensional cube which is created by this line here and I don't worry too much about the details just yet so I've commented most of the other stuff out and I'm just going to show you what this line actually does because it's this that creates this cube the main thing here is that this calls this operation which creates a cube um, there's also a Mino I can never pronounce this Minkowski uh, function what this does is combines two different shapes in quite a clever way so at the moment we've just got the cube um, if I uncomment that it'll combine the cube with a sphere and give me round corners so if you know what my logo looks like you'll know this is a little bit closer to what my logo is actually going to look like so what we do now we, we've got this um, curved curved cube cube with curved corners and if I use this which will make this translucent and then that what you'll see hopefully is you can see the outer cube that we've just seen in the gray and you can also see inside that is a red cube which is very similar but slightly smaller so what we're going to do to create the next stage of my logo is to subtract the inner cube from the outer cube and this is what this this is where this difference function comes in so what this will do is take the outer cube and subtract the inner cube so if I just do this that has actually done that so this is now hollow you can't see that at the moment but it is actually now hollow so to create the next stage of my logo what I'm going to do I'm going to remove these two so I actually see nothing and I'm going to subtract this shape okay so what this is is all cylinders this is basically three cylinders put together um, perpendicular to each other quite simple just literally three cylinder shapes and what this operation does which is, just, is what you see in here now rendered on the screen is cylinder one cylinder two cylinder three rotated so the first one isn't rotated the second one is rotated along the x-axis third one is rotated along the um, the y-axis and that's all you can see here okay now this is just a function to create a cylinder based on um, these parameters so this just creates a cylinder that's rotated don't need to worry too much about this just yet um, so we've got this basic shape which I want to remove from just get that right. the initial shape here which if you remember is hollowed out so what I can do is if I now uncomment that we've got the difference between the outer cube and then we're subtracting the inner cube and we're subtracting the three cylinders and what this will give us when I press save and render it is my logo now you may recognize that if you've seen my logo before 
okay so if we go and look at the face of this from the front view you see that now that is not really my logo it needs to be rotated so what I've done if I uncomment this bit of code um, yeah that's correct that will automatically rotate it to the orientation of my actual logo and then if we uncomment this bit of code and the close brackets there we render that that is my logo it's got the right colors the right orientation um, that's basically it and I have actually used this particular image um, for some of my branding it's, it's, it's quite accurate to what my logo looks like so I've used it for some of my branding so that's the very basics of using OpenSCAD um, I think the the details the fine details are a little bit beyond the scope of this video but it's just a demonstration to show you how really quite easy it is to create something um, in OpenSCAD and you can see all these parameters so this can be changed quite easily just by changing a few numbers you can make it smaller larger you could for example without going too much into detail if we look at the logo color we could make that I think this will make it yellow if we change the red value there we go um, red green blue would make it a bluey color more blue yep so you can see how parameterized it is and easy it, easy it is to change um, for more information about OpenSCAD because I've just gone over the basics here then please feel free to visit 3dprinthq.com forward slash OpenSCAD thank you very much